everyone welcome back to my channel i am doing a get ready with me tonight kind of like a chatty get ready with me um nothing like super crazy i'm just going to be doing a very basic kind of light makeup look um so anyway i'm just going to dive right in i would love if you kind of want to give me a life update on your side of the world um, down below in the comments that's part of like my favorite part of youtube is connecting with you guys um i would love that so Let's just go ahead and dive right in. Um, I have a little list on my phone of a few things I thought about um, kind of throughout today that maybe I want to talk about. So um, anyway, I'm just going to dive right on in. And the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the current election. So it is uh, the 30th as I'm filming this, so just a couple more days until um, the actual like official election. Um, and you know, it's been a big deal here in the U S of course. Um, I'm not going to share any of like my political views personally, but a few things I did want to kind of talk about that. I've had conversations with, um, with people in my life and just things that are kind of becoming more clear to me through this experience. Now I'm young. Um, this is only the second election I've ever been able and eligible to vote in. So, you know, short lived experience here. Okay. <laughs> um, but something that I'm seeing a lot of times is a lot of like arguing. Maybe it doesn't initially start with the intention of an argument, but I see oftentimes it ends that way. And just from my experience, I see that when it, when a conversation kind of takes a turn that gets maybe um, too confrontational or maybe someone feels disrespected, whatever kind of tipping point it is when it kind of shifts, if you guys know what I mean, where it starts to feel more like an argument, I just find that the more you try to convince somebody of something, the less they're going to listen to you. Like it just, to me, seems sometimes like a waste of energy or breath um, when it gets to that level. I don't think that there's anything wrong with sharing your opinion and trying to have a conversation, but I think people reach their tipping points at different points. Um, so that's just one thing I have kind of seen quite a bit and I'm trying to learn from it of if, um, you know, somebody wants to have a conversation with me and and they say something that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, there's really no point in me getting upset about it, um, especially when it's with family or friends, people that you have close relationships to. You know, I just value personally like that relationship more, like the relationship with my friend or my boyfriend or my parents or whoever more than politics and I just watched um Jessica Braun's like last coffee chat video I can link it down below she posted this morning um and she said something very similar where politics was really starting to affect some of her relationships and when I heard her say that I felt like yeah me too and I've decided you know I'm not going to let politics ruin any relationship for me it's just we are all privileged enough to have our own opinions and have the opportunity to vote. And I know um, that's very complicated history and I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. I'm just trying to say for me personally, I'm not willing to risk a relationship over political beliefs anymore. And I feel good in that decision and I feel like it's taken a lot of weight off of me. I don't feel... Um, really like as fired up <laughs> as maybe I once did. So that's just like a lesson that I've learned. And the other thing kind of going along with that is just in general, I feel like people need to be nicer to each other. I mean, if you agree with them, if you disagree, if they're a friend, if they're your enemy, I just feel like people need to be nicer. And especially because we have social media, I feel like it's so easy to hide behind a screen and type something that I don't know that everybody would actually say out loud facing the person what they just typed through the computer. I um, consider myself very lucky that I don't get a ton of like hate comments on my channel, but I've seen on so many other channels and Instagrams and things like that, even Facebook, of people just saying really 
negative and mean things. Like, it, it's just, I don't know. It's not okay with me. I'm not going to tolerate that. And I really think that as kind of society, we should look ourselves in the mirror and realize, you know, maybe I should be nicer. Maybe, I mean, what harm is going to come out from just being nicer in general? So that is something that I am trying to actively work on. And, um, you know, it's something that I feel is important and I don't feel that it could ever really hurt to be a nicer person, to be um, a better listener, to just, you know, kind of cool it maybe sometimes when I feel a little worked up and think, you know, is this really worth it right now? And could I have approached something better? And I hate when later the answer is yes, I was maybe too worked up in the moment and I maybe said something that I regret or said something that um, I wish I wouldn't have and that's not a good feeling. So anyway, it kind of applies to um, politics and it kind of is just a life memo I guess I'm following at the moment, but I really think that we should just be a little bit nicer, a little bit more patient and I guess I'm tired of seeing people trying to like outdo one another. I have seen that side come out of people during this COVID experience quite a bit. And it kind of saddens me that, you know, I think I can blatantly say everybody has had a change in their life. You know, what was pre COVID and now certainly are not exactly the same. There are different things like face masks. There were, you know, a lot of lockdowns. There's a lot of things that have changed in people's lives. And um, I don't really see the value in trying to express that your change or your situation is worse than somebody else's always. Um, and sometimes I don't think that's the intention, but other times I do think that people are trying to like one up each other of, um, oh yeah, well I went through this and like it just, I'm not interested. To me that is so um, like junior high, high school and you cannot pay me enough to go back to those days, frankly. I am glad to be um, no longer that age and no longer dealing with that kind of drama because that time in my life was not exactly my happiest. <laughs> I think a lot of people can appreciate that. So anyway, those are just some thoughts I've been having lately. Um, that I thought I wanted to share and thought maybe you could relate to as well. Um, but you know, I, I'm not, I'm not fully sure that anybody knows the right answer to how to react in any situation or every situation. But something I'm just trying to do is be a little bit more patient, be more kind and more understanding. And I think for me, I've had a really positive experience. I've brought this to work too, of course, you know, of um, meeting people maybe in the middle a little bit more than I was prior and just kind of being more understanding and I've seen positive benefits from that. So, so far I would say my experience has been going well, but it is something that kind of weighs on me and especially I see it a lot in social media and I wonder, you know, how different things would be without the social media aspect and how behaviors might change. But I am not like a psychologist to be able to do a study on something like that, but I would certainly be interested to know and read and educate myself more about it. We recently watched The Social Dilemma. So um, that's on Netflix. It's really great. You should check it out if you haven't yet. Um, and it was just very thought provoking for me, um, for my boyfriend too. He's um, a little bit older than me. So you know, we approach social media differently. I grew up with social media. I'm, I'm here on social media, right? And um, he's not as active in it and just doesn't have the same interest level that I do. I mean, I love to scroll through Instagram. He doesn't even have an Instagram. Like, it's just kind of different. And um, so, yeah, this, it was really interesting for both of us to watch that documentary, though. Anyway, let's um, maybe, shall we move on? Um, I talked briefly there about high school, middle school days, and something that I just rediscovered here on YouTube are um, old MTV TV shows and movies. I remember so well, like the summers 
um, when I was off of school and like I would lay on the couch and I would watch MTV garbage TV shows or like VH1 and I my cousin and I totally relived this I texted her I was like oh my gosh she'll never believe what show I found and she found another good one too and it's just been really fun so I found the um movie I think I don't know if it was actually a tv show or a movie but fat camp which gold like pure entertainment and like seeing the like straight from 05 07 time frame like style and just the drama like I felt that like personally I knew so many of the people that were in that like fat camp docuseries like I felt like I knew people just like them and it was such a throwback and I just loved it I found two um like movies two seasons of it 10 out of 10 recommend and I've gotten like so many people hooked on re-watching it because it's just that great so that was kind of fun to explore um the other one that we found was what did she find my cousin found a good one recently it was like um what's the one where the like boyfriend or girlfriend has to sit with the parents that dislike them while their you know significant other goes on other dates that was a good one and I watched a couple of those and again it was so awkward and like I just I loved it because it brought back those memories. So anyway, fun stuff that I've been rediscovering and I um, certainly got some good laughs out of it. I was like Snapchatting some of my friends and I was like, oh my gosh, do you remember this? And I found that only a couple people um, like in my friend circle and like at my work friend group that like knew what I was talking about. And then the rest of them were like, wait, how did I ever miss this? And they're watching it now and they're like, I love every second of it so that's been like fun I just discovered that this week so it's fresh on the brain yeah so fantastic like this girl had a complete meltdown because she got head lice and she had to throw out her hair bows and those were really nice because they were from Claire's and there's no Claire's here to reimburse me or like buy new ones it was just the level of drama was so great oh and like first kisses it's just everything oh is so good I'll link them down below <laughs> uh, anyway so that is uh, something that has recently took me by storm <laughs> um, other things that I've been enjoying I got some mascara under here um, I'm doing a 90 day challenge which I kind of have like an intro video and I'm working on a I don't know, like a halfway update video here soon. Um, and that's been really nice. And some of the things that I have to do for this challenge is a daily gratitude, which I never did before, but I knew a lot of people that did do that. Um, and also 30 minutes of daily, like physical activity. And that's been really good for me. I've been going out for walks and I'm super like not into the winter and the cold of course I'm living in northern Minnesota and so like it's inevitable but I'm learning to kind of like enjoy it and um, I guess I'm learning how to like dress appropriately which sounds really dumb because I have a ton of like different winter coats but I'm realizing that you know I might even need something heavier or I might need another layer than what I originally thought or I've had other times where it's vice versa where on my walk, like halfway through, I'm having to take off my hat and my scarf and my mittens and like unzip my jacket because I'm so dang warm. And so I'm learning how to like adapt my outward gear, you could say, to the actual weather, which sounds really dumb, like just put on a coat and hat and boots and everything. But like you have different levels of that, especially where I have, like I have lighter boots and I have um, like winter boots with like fur on the top and then I also have other boots that I wear out on the ice like there's different levels of equipment for what you're trying to do which I'm sure is the same for people that live in other climates um you know maybe not as extreme but like I'm sure you have different jackets like you've got a raincoat and you've got a spring and like a winter you know you just have different tools for that so I'm learning how to kind of deal with all that but I've also just been really enjoying it because it's pretty and I'm seeing like wildlife like I literally was this close from a deer the other day like 
what? And I saw eagles and I've seen um, this little fox a couple of times. So I always stop and kind of watch it rummage around and digging in the snow and stuff like that. And it's just been really fun for me. Um, and, and I feel accomplished, you know, walking is not really like a hard activity to do when you're out doing it. Like going for a walk is a pretty low impact type of activity. For me, it's usually just like getting myself to go. Once I'm out there, it's not that big of a deal. But you know, when you're on the couch or you've had a long work day, you just sometimes don't feel motivated to really like go do something like that. So that's where the challenge has been helpful for me because I'm getting past that and it's becoming more and more um, habitual and something that I'm kind of like looking forward to. Um, I listen to YouTube videos on my um, phone. I just have it playing in my pocket and I have like my headpiece and I only wear one headphone when I'm on the truck because I want to be able to hear my surroundings. But um, it's just been really nice and I like kind of getting out. And so I listen to a lot of like empties videos and like Project Use It Up and um, kind of more like chit chatty videos. Things that I don't have to watch a screen for. Like I love project panning videos, but I want to see your progress. So I don't listen to those on the trail because I can't just like hold my phone up and watch your screen, you know? So that's been nice though. And I'm really enjoying it. And it's just making me feel, even if I don't really do something today, I feel like I accomplished something because I went out for a walk and I can check that off my list, which is pretty cool. So that is also something that has been nice. Okay, something else that um, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys while I wrap up here a little bit is um, I've been having a lot of like, I don't know, deep thoughts with myself lately about just things that maybe I want to change, things that I'm not super thrilled with. And one of those things are some of the friendships and relationships I have with people and specifically thinking about like kind of toxic people to me. And I've really redefined, I guess you could say like my self-worth and what I'm willing to put up with or not and what's acceptable, um, kind of uh, figuring out my boundaries, I guess, and really establishing them. I, I guess I've been putting up with people saying things to me that I don't really appreciate or that I find kind of disrespectful for some time, but I never really did anything. I never approached them about it. I never like said that, hey, that upsets me when you say that, could you not? Like I didn't really do anything. I just kind of put up with it and then I would feel like garbage. Like I would feel, you know, offended or disrespected and it would like nag at me and I've decided, you know, I'm not doing that anymore. And if somebody says something that really hurts my feelings, you know, the first time I'm going to say, Hey, that that's not cool. Like it's not funny, whatever you're saying or whatever the situation is. And you know, if they keep doing it, then I'm learning now who has stopped and who continues to do things like that, who really like I can consider a close friend. And it doesn't mean that I've like cut everybody out of my life yet. Um, I'm not opposed to cutting more people out, but maybe we're just not as close as we once were. Instead of like being on my inner circle, maybe your couple rings out because of those things. But, you know, and I've come across this with work too, where sometimes I've felt maybe, I don't know, disrespected or um, some low blows sometimes at work that people have said, or even like if someone says like, shut up, I don't. I don't take that like that, especially in a work environment. That is not okay to me. Um, so I've, you know, probably made some very uncomfortable like situations because I'm not scared anymore, I guess, to speak up for myself. And um, yeah, it's just something that I've been thinking about and kind of evaluating as things come and go. And I think it's important, um, you know, I went through a um, period of my life around college where, you know, college especially is hard sometimes, um, where I was trying to define myself after I graduated, like I'm trying to get a job, I'm trying to make like adult friends. And for a while you kind of just take anything you can get because making friends as an adult is a lot harder. Like you have um, 
you have just more barriers and you really have to like try to find friendships in adulthood um, and things like work or like other activities or your gym are great avenues to meet people but it's a lot harder to say like hey you want to like hang out sometime you know it's just a lot easier when you're a kid and you see everybody at school or sports so there was a period of time where I would just kind of feeling lonely and um, needed to make a little friend group um, given that I kind of changed where I was living and things like that and you know, it really was a good thing for me. Like you need that kind of social interaction. You need to have people that um, you can talk to in some sort of social, you know, interactions with. But they also now I'm realizing maybe aren't like ideal. And I'm, you know, still making adult friends, but I don't necessarily have to hold on to everybody. And I'm thankful for when I met them and everything. But Again, if I feel disrespected, I'm not going to put up with it anymore. And that's helping my like self-esteem and my self-worth quite a bit. Um, I feel like sometimes it seems like the path of least resistance to just not say anything, to not say, hey, that upset me. Could you please not? Blah, blah, blah. Because um, it is uncomfortable sometimes to say those things. But hold on, I got to do my lip liner. <laughs> Okay, but what I was going to say is when you then go home and you can't get their words out of your head or it makes you feel bad for a semi-extended period of time, that's when it's not okay and you really, although it's uncomfortable, it, it does me better at least anyway to actually say, you know, I'd appreciate if you didn't say something like that. So anyway, just rambling at this point, you guys probably get what I'm saying, but um it's something that has been weighing on me and I guess to uh, wrap up that thought and put a nice little bow and everything if you are feeling that way or if you are in the process of kind of figuring out who is good for you in your life and who maybe is a little more toxic than you thought I fully support you and I'm here for you because that is a really hard thing to do and sometimes you get retaliation I've had that um, and it makes it even harder to like stand your ground, but I really do think it's important that you surround yourself with people that fill your cup up, that make you feel good, that you enjoy having, um, their company. And I think the pandemic has really shown that to me of who do I actually want to stay in contact with? Who is somebody that, um, maybe hasn't even like really tried to arrange like a zoom happy hour or anything with me like it's just kind of exposing some things but I think it's a good thing at least I'm trying to like spin it that way so anyway I'm like pretty much done with my makeup I know I'm like super washed out from the camera but I didn't put any foundation on I typically don't wear foundation so just kind of a easy look I used my Anastasia little quad that I built um here which is so fun and pretty. I um, really like this little quad. It was like a perfect little combo for me and it's nice like I can get a full look pretty much out of it. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I would love to know your thoughts on anything I talked about or just anything you wanna talk about. I would love to chit chat with you down below. So leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.